The manufacture of meat and dairy products requires significantly more energy and much more space than the production of plant-based foods. Our consumption of meat could be reduced if alternative plant foodstuffs tasted just as good as animal products. However, the use of rapeseed, soya beans, peas or potatoes as a source of protein only goes some of the way towards achieving this. Sweet lupin seeds have a high protein content and contain several other valuable substances. These attributes make it a highly promising raw material for the food industry. Lupin is gluten-free and tolerant of infertile soils. It has been traditionally used as an interim crop, as it enriches the soil in which it grows by fixing the nitrogen within the atmosphere. Lupins have not been genetically modified, and local cultivation means that they don't need to be transported long distances. Only specific varieties are used to produce food. The lupins that grow in our gardens contain bitter-tasting alkaloids and are not suitable for human consumption. Like all plants, lupins do not contain cholesterol and are lactose-free. The lupin, therefore, offers many benefits. The only thing that stands in the way of consumer acceptance is the intense beanie and bitter taste of its seeds. The researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute for Process Engineering and Packaging in Freising, near Munich, set themselves the particular challenge of eliminating these undesirable taste and smell aspects. The team was the first to succeed in identifying these troublesome aromatic and flavour substances. Our initial point of interest regarding the lupin was to find out which substances were responsible for its grassy and beany smell. We were able to identify a total of 25 main aromatic substances that were primary causes of the problem. These belong to a range of chemical classes, including alcohols, carboxylic acids and ketones. We were also able to pinpoint various bitter-tasting substances such as alkaloids. These precise findings were then used for the targeted selection of environmentally friendly solvents, examples being water or supercritical CO2. At the same time, however, the aim was to retain the functionality of the proteins. This is a unique step forward in the field of food research. Until now, the chemical compounds contained within lupin seeds that cause such an affront to our senses were unknown and it had not been possible to separate individual substances. In 2010, we set up the Fraunhofer spin-off company ProLupin GmbH in order to implement our successful research findings in practice. Fraunhofer's intellectual property rights for the processing of lupin proteins were then transferred to this company. In 2011, the first product was launched in the form of a lupin ice cream that continues to be successful today. Ice cream is just one of the many products that can be manufactured using lupins. Lupin flour can provide extra protein enhancement when baking. And the Fraunhofer researchers have also developed other products such as pleasant tasting milk. This makes a perfect lactose-free cappuccino foam. In consumer taste tests, lupin-based meat substitutes have proved highly popular and have not been recognized as being of plant origin. The potential market that can be served by our plant-based proteins is extremely large. If we consider that 80 million tons of dairy products and egg proteins are consumed every year, imagine what would happen if our lupin proteins were able to secure a market share of even 1%. That would be a quantity of 800,000 tons. We believe this to be an impressive amount. There is a good chance that lupins can become a more significant part of agricultural and food production. This would be of great benefit to individual health and to our environment.